What's up guys, Zaf here back with some more on Myoji and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to clear Orochi stage 8. Uh, we'll be using the frozen time or the bunny cheese method. Uh, that's what people have been affectionately call it, uh, calling it the bunny cheese method. So as you can see in the screen, I have four Yama Usagis, one Zashiki and I'm using Hiromasa as my on Myoji. So the strategy behind it is um, all four Yamausagis, they'll be using the Fortune Cat set, right? And um, <clears throat> Zashiki will be the lighter so that we can get more Spirit Orbs and they can just cheese their, their skill too, which is the, what's it called again? The Bunny Dance. The Bunny Dance, which uh, increases their attack bar by 30%. So basically what happens is you just keep increasing your attack bar over and over again. So you, you have, I have one quick, the, the fastest bunny is currently at 163 speed. Uh, you can check the end of the video for the souls that I use. I was about to say runes, but then this game is called souls. So you can check the end of the video where I will showcase the souls that I have on them. Um, the overall stats and also the individual souls and also the skills that I have on them. So basically none of them are skilled up. I think the first Yamausagi has like one skill up but that's towards the first skill. So th that's not going to count. Um, my hero Masa is only level 21 and I'm a bit unlucky because the, the skills that I've used for him, I don't have his shadow skilled up. So let me just check and see what what skill is the occult shadow double right um, that's when I put him out like when, that's when he comes out and after that he just he hits whenever uh, any of the allies ha makes an action right every time an ally moves then the shadow double uses celestial arrow on a random target it's completely random this is a very very slow slow team because we don't have a DPS apart from Hero. I'm just gonna shorten his name to Hero. So the only DPS is Hero and basically you just lap your enemies over and over again. Now in order for this tactic to work you need to have 161 speed on your first bunny and the second bunny should have 141 speed if I'm not mistaken. I have a slightly faster but I think the minimum speed is like 161, 141 then after that will be your DPS. That's why um, Hero, sorry, b before the DPS, I've got my Zashiki moving so that she can give more orbs in between. And then I have Hero moving after that. That's why we need him at level 21 minimum because um, at level 21, he has 116 speed. Then the last two bunnies will have zero speed. Basically, it's just that evolve speed form which is 115 base speed if I'm not mistaken yeah 115 so that's why you need your DPS to be above 115 speed so like 116 117 that'd be great uh, and um, as you know that the Onyojis they increase in stats every five levels so it's like level 6 level 11 level 16 level 21 26 so on and so forth all right so although it's every five levels it's every five levels after the first level <laughs> yeah it's, it's a bit weird i should have done it like every like five intervals just like level five ten never mind right so um it's a very painful and tedious process you're not supposed to farm it with this team you're just supposed to clear the dungeon with this team so why do you want to clear orochi why do you want to clear high orochi basically you want to clear orochi until you can clear orochi 10 then after that, you don't actually have to farm Orochi. Well, the best case scenario is you farm Orochi 10 all day, every day, right? But for people that can't farm Orochi 10, there is a shortcut. So what you do is you clear Orochi 10 and then every hour you just enter a Kraken. You know, in the world chat, whenever there is a Kraken showing up, you just join the team. Right, and the drops from there will reflect on the highest stage of the Orochi that you've cleared. So basically, if you've cleared, of course, this is all RNG, you know, you're not going to get six star 
souls all the time you know great sick souls all the time but you know that's there's a higher chance of that happening so and, and it does drop like between four to eight souls something like that and in, in some so it's like a, a shortcut to getting good souls early on I, of course there's a faster way to do this which is you could just sacrifice two srs in the shrine and exchange it for a soul of your choice um, a soul set of your choice but we'll leave that discussion for another day now we're still talking about orochi 8 here this orochi 8 is not as tough as orochi 9 uh, i'll upload the video for orochi 9 tomorrow uh, well I'll, I'll i'll tell about the details tomorrow in tomorrow's video but in today's video it's basically just rinsing and repeating whatever it is that you start off with right uh, as you can see in this video my control and my understanding of the the move bar wasn't as good as how i did it in uh, soul 10. i didn't i didn't pay too much attention to the move bar all i did was just try to rinse and repeat and just try not to make any mistakes but as i as i started playing more of this you know because because I, I didn't get it on the first take of course right this this was like my third try i think second or third third try because you're, you're going to be using fortune cats and fortune cats are very rng based right so fortune cat soul sets um what's the description hold on let me pull that up right so they grant a 50 percent chance of gaining two orbs at the start of the turn that's very rng based you can see the the, the move bar um as you get closer it's like every five turns you get another plus five orbs so basically you want to have at least eight orbs at the start of the first person's turn or not, not not at least eight six would be fine and then you pray for rng to come up with another two more orbs or you have two people that do not require spirit orbs in between so that you can get like to the end <laughs> i don't know how how that sounds but like as i was doing it there was a few times that i i failed because i didn't understand how the the turn order and the ap bar was together i mean it's not that i didn't understand i understood it it's just that i wasn't paying attention to it but later on in the orochi 10 video you can see that my control over the ap bar was was much better this i was just rinsing and repeating so th this one is very easy all you have to just set up your bunnies you know evolve all four bunnies you don't have to have them skilled up of course obviously more skills better and on the on myojiguide.com it states that if your guardian is level 50 plus and also if you have a max totem on hero it'll make it a lot easier well um, i'm currently only in this video i was level 43 i think level 43 yeah i started this late because i was busy leveling up all my ssrs and i'm like yeah i'll do this another time then i just realized that as i was du dueling and doing my my realm raids like i'm lacking behind now i'm always getting beat so i think it's about time to change something get some better souls so i started working on the team so once i got my four bunnies what i did was i just went and evolved them i just found some evil mats evolved them and i found some fortune cat souls and just put them on all four of them so the fastest being for the first one the second fastest set on the second one and then um, I'm, I'm not sure what i have in zashiki but it's some pvp runes it, it souls it's not it's not the azul i think you're supposed to have azul souls on here you don't really have to because like the, in this team you, you can have a lot of orbs um and it's it's just like that it's so simple um everyone can clear soul 8 with just this uh, you can look at the end of the video my souls were not even powered up most of it was at plus zero only the slot 2 for speed was at plus 15 the rest of it was practically zero and it's very easy to get uh, to get uh, 161 speed because um if you have a three star soul you have plus 36 speed on the on slot 2 so 115 plus 36 is already 151 all you need to do is just get another nine more um, 10 more speed sorry 
So basically, every other soul, if you have a plus two speed, you can already reach 161 speed. Right. So enjoy the rest of the video. This is Zaf signing out. If you have any other questions, you know, you can just post them in the comment section below. Join my Discord chat, you know, and uh, or you can join the Onmyoji Discord chat, which I will link in the description. And do like, comment, and subscribe if if, if you found this helpful. This is Zaf signing out then.